Hey Lancers, these are the Spring Sports of Granger. We interviewed some of the athletes and we asked them questions about the sport. We hope you enjoy this film and be sure to support the, all the Spring Sports. Roll the film. My name is Christian Mora. I'm here with GTV and we're also here with Spencer from Granger's tennis team and we're going to interview him and ask him a little bit of questions. So Spencer, how are you keeping up with your responsibilities in playing this sport? Oh, well, it, it's actually pretty easy. All you got to do is just get your work done in class, you know, pay attention and then just go to practice and work hard every day and then you'll be good. That's nice, nice. That's good. So, if I, were, if I was to give you anything in this room to play tennis with, do you think you can do it? It depends what it is. How about this? I don't know if I could, but I bet Coach Sonata could. That guy can oh. do everything. <laughs> he can do everything. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, that's good. Um, how would you describe your team? Uh, we like to mess around a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of fun at practice. Sometimes it's not very serious, but other times we can get down to business and start working on getting better and stuff. That's cool, that's cool. Um, would you continue playing this sport and why? Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't know if I'd play in college or anything like that, mm -hmm. but even if it's just for fun and with friends, you know, it's something that will always be fun to me and I'll try to play as long as I can. Yeah. Nice. Cool. So for those people who've never been to a tennis match, what would you say to them to make them come watch a tennis match? You know, I would just say just just try it out. I mean, I think it's a lot of fun and I think I think most people would too. So if you just go and check it out, see what it's all about, then they might actually figure out that they want to play too. Nice. All right, that's it for today, guys. I'm Christian Moore with GTV, and this was Spencer Fulton talking about tennis. Okay. I'm Taylor Chow, and I'm here with center fielder for Rangers baseball team, Trey Crowther. How are you keeping up with your responsibilities and playing this sport? Uh, I just got to make the most out of all, all time we have on the field. Just get it better as fast as you can. Obviously, you got to get all, all your work done in class. It's a high priority. Make sure you get both done. Uh, do you think you can hit a baseball with Q-tips? <laughs> Probably not. What? What made you want to play in the first place? Uh, my grandparents. My grandpa specifically got me involved with it. He taught me everything he knew, gave me uh, the love I have for the game now. How would you describe your team? Uh, very close knit. We're a family. We all love each other. We're all there for each other. Hang out all the time. We're all close. I'm Teo Chow with GTV and that's all for today. Yo, what is up you guys? I'm Christian Moore here with GTV and also with the famous golf player of Granger High School, Ryan Stone. And we're gonna talk a little bit about golf today. So I'm asking you a little bit of questions, okay Ryan? So how are you keeping up with your responsibilities and playing the sport at the same time? Um, it's pretty easy to keep up with responsibilities because we only practice three times a week. So it's oh, okay, that's nice. Hard. What made you want to play this sport in the first place? Was it your dad? Yeah, my dad just gave me a club and taught me how to swing, yeah. <laughs> so, would you continue playing this sport and why? Yeah, I would, because it's just something that I like to do and it's something that me and my dad like to do, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop playing it. Okay, that's, that's great, that's awesome. All right guys, there we go, that's a wrap up with the famous Ryan Stone, the, golf, the amazing golf player of Ranger High School. I'm Christian Moore, this is GTV, see you next time. I'm here with Katie Tanner and me, David Simon. She's from the softball team. So I have a few questions. Okay. So how are you keeping up with your responsibilities and playing this sport? Um, I kind of make sure to set time aside after practice so that I can do all my chores and homework and keep up with school. And our coach is really good at giving us time off if we need to catch up on schoolwork. Would you switch a baseball for this? Uh, I could try. I don't think it would work. work. No, no. It wouldn't go very far. Okay. So why did you join softball? Um, I've been playing for since I was six, and so wow. ten plus years. And softball has really been my outlet for how I manage stress and everything, and so it's helped me a lot. So. All right. So, how would you describe your team? <laughs> Uh, we can be pretty crazy at times, but we all we all get along. It's a lot of fun to be on the team, and we're all new. We have a lot of younger talent, like freshmen, sophomore, yeah. that a lot of us haven't played before. But we we've, we've gotten to get along really well. 
So, would you continue playing the sport? Of course. I hope to play in college. Why? Why? Yeah. I don't really have anything but softball to like have that outlet. And I think it would be a lot of fun to go into the next level of softball. Never think about going professional. College is basically the most professional that you can get, sadly. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. It's Katie Tanner. Tanner. <laughs> yeah, and David Simon. So hello, we are here with Jason Chavez and me, David Simon. So I got some few questions for you, man. So how are you keeping up with your responsibilities and playing the sport? Um. I don't know, just going to class, um, doing my work. Yeah. yeah, it's not that hard. Does it get hard? Sometimes. Yeah, um, yeah like just when I got to do homework and have games and I get home late. But yeah, that's about it. So, would you trade your like cleats from the bottom for a Q-tip? No, I don't <laughs> think it would work. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, so, so would you continue playing a sport? Yeah. I don't know why. Because I love it, my favorite sport. I love playing it. Do you ever think about playing professional? Yeah, all the time. Yeah? Yeah. It's good. All right, well, that's it for our GTV interview with Jason and David. All right. Yo, what is up, you guys? My name is Christian from GTV, and I'm here with the famous track star from Ranger, Mohamed Shek. Yo. So we're going to be talking about some track today. What's up? All right. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to ask you some questions, Mohammed. So, how are you keeping up with your responsibilities and playing the sport? Well, it's like a lot of micromanaging, you know? Mm -hmm. Just like find little times in between to do like all you need to do, and you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't really know how you can play track with a Q-tip or use it, so... I, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think you do. Yeah, I don't think you can <laughs> at all. <laughs> so, how would you describe your team personally? Uh, they're like, there are a lot of like great people, like they're like the, they're like the best, they're mm -hmm. fun, they're supportive, like they're always there for each other, yeah. like in and out of track. Yeah. So it's like a family? Yeah, yeah. like a big family. Nice. And, mm -hmm. alright you guys, that's our interview with the famous track star Mohammed Shek. I'm Christian from GTV, thanks for joining us, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>